Hey guys, Icy Cat here. This is the second part of the Far Cry video series that I'm doing a preview on. And this game is something that I got a chance to play recently. Went out to San Francisco, was invited down there to participate in some events that they had, along with a bunch of other YouTubers and streamers who got some access to play the game early. And this time we're going to be showing a little bit of my co-op gameplay in the background. And in this case, playing it with a co-op partner is interesting. This is the first Far Cry game where you can actually play the entire campaign from start to finish with another player. I know back in like Far Cry 3, I think was one of the first times I had seen them try to dabble in some uh, co-op play. And if you wanted to do it there, they had like these missions that you could do that were like specifically designed for co-op and it wasn't the actual campaign experience. Well, in Far Cry 5, you can do the entire campaign from start to finish with another person. And that's really cool. Uh, I do have some specific people that I play with on a regular basis that really co-op is mostly our thing. And that's one of the reasons why I'm really excited for Far Cry. I do like the Far Cry games in general. I've enjoyed pretty much all of them. I had a little bit of a harder time getting into Far Cry Primal, but you know, like three and four were really great. And uh, you know, five is just so cool. And I like playing those games uh, just from a single player experience but playing them co-op is something that's going to be really fun for me. We have a really tactical gameplay style, you know, we'll communicate to each other and we'll really kind of get into it. Now, one thing that I would put this in comparison to is like, for instance, Ghost Recon Wildlands was a big co-op game that Ubisoft put out last year. And uh, that's a fun game, but it is four player co-op. Far Cry 5 is limited to only two player co-op, which is an important distinction to make. And I really think the reason for that is that there's just like a lot of different things going on in here. In Wildlands, you can see some of the more gamey mechanics present due to just the size of the world, uh, the openness that it has, you know, uh, there's some limitations. For instance, you know, enemies don't seem to spawn in until you're about 500 meters out and you have strange things sort of happening. Bodies despawn oddly because of, you know, just sort of the density of things that it has to, the game engine has to account for. And there's just like a lot of factors that go into that. So there's limitations that you run up against. Well, part of why this is an important thing to remember is that in Far Cry 5, you're only limited to a two player experience, but you're not seeing some of those gamey kind of mechanics kick in. Like, and I'm sure that there's some kind of mechanics that are running under the hood, but they do a good job of making it more or less invisible. You don't see those kinds of weird things sort of happening where you notice enemies maybe spawning in in odd ways or, uh, you know, like things kind of despawning oddly in ways that you wouldn't expect them to. But there is one mechanic that everybody needs to be aware of when it comes to co-op gameplay is that there is actually a tether with your co-op partner. So if you get separated by too significant of a distance, you will get a warning on your screen letting you know that, you know, you're kind of reaching the edge of that tether range. Now, I didn't even know that this was necessarily in play because the whole time we were playing, it was pretty invisible. Like we could kind of range fairly far apart from each other and it wasn't anything that cropped up. I think it wasn't really until I started popping up into like, I got into a helicopter and began flying away and I, I got a, you know, a pretty significant distance out and kind of again, playing it like Wildlands, expecting that it was sort of that same unlimited tether experience. And all of a sudden I ran into this like warning that I was tethering a little too far away. And that was a little abrupt and jarring when it came up. But other than that one time, like unless you're going to get into a vehicle and really head off in a far distance away from your other player, you're really not going to be running into that. You can be going through pretty much any of the missions in, uh, you know, any kind of way that you want without having to worry about that tether too much. But it is something that's there and for you to be aware of. As I said before, I really do enjoy co-op games, and this one is a lot of fun. I've always been a fan of the Far Cry games, and everything here feels pretty much like you would expect from a typical Far Cry game. You've got the same kind of elements that are in play as far as capturing outposts and freeing the civilians or the rebel factions that might be present. It has a great storyline and animation and voice acting are top notch. Some of the story elements themselves, I'm not going to spoil any of them for you, but are really great and actually did kind of send chills up my spine just with like how in tense and like just insane some of the bad characters are in this game. They're just really, really, really well done. A Far Cry bad guy is always something you can look forward to being an intense experience to be sure. 
My only real complaint with the game is that some of the gun mechanics feel a little bit looser and more arcadey than I might like. Sometimes when you would try to really line up for precision on somebody and aim down the sights, the accuracy just wasn't as good as I'd like it to be. Some of the recoil was just a bit jumpy. And in some cases, hip fire felt almost as accurate as actually trying to aim. Some of the iron sights are also like when you bring the gun up to look down at the sights wind up covering what it is you're shooting at. It's definitely playable, but it's just not quite as tight as I would like some of the gun mechanics to be but those are some things that can be tweaked they're just simple adjustments on like the recoil parameter values and some things like that as well as maybe adjusting the slight camera perspective when aiming down sights these kinds of things are simple fixes if the devs want to make them so i'm holding out hope that there is something that can still be kind of brought in for that to make it a little bit tighter a little less arcadey with some of the gunplay mechanics but that is literally the only complaint I have for this game. But if you like Far Cry games in general, then you're really going to like this one too. It has all the elements that make a Far Cry game great. And with the interesting thing of it being set here in America, in uh, Hope County, Montana, you know, just sort of having this, you know, guns, God, and Americana sort of thing going for it is just a really cool take on the series. I can't wait for you guys to play it. It's going to be coming out at the end of this month. Like I said, I did spend some hands-on time with the game, and I thoroughly, legitimately enjoyed the time that I played with it. And if you want to know more about the game, you can check out the links that are going to come up at the end of the video here. And also, if you check in the comments down below the video player, you'll find a link to follow to there, which will give you more information on the game. Thanks a lot for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.